Good morning, everybody. And what I want to welcome you to another episode of RG22 Outdoor Adventure. And yes, what you see behind me is our brand spanking new Gemini all-wheel drive 24KB Class B Plus camper van. It is built on a Ford Transit uh, 350 HD all-wheel drive chassis with our great EcoBoost uh, twin turbocharged V6 motor. And my wife and I are here camping today um, at Jesse Owens State Park, which used to be formerly called Ohio Power Recreation Lands here in Southeast Ohio. And uh, I think it's Noble, Monroe, and Guernsey counties. And my wife is sitting here picking flowers, trying to make a little bouquet. Hi. So that's my lovely wife. Just makes this whole thing a lot, looks every, everything yet better. So we are gonna show you our camper. And like I said, it is our Gemini um, 24KB built on an all wheel drive Transit 350 HD van. Class B plus. As you can see, we got the, four, the, the front end of the vehicle, our big Ford emblem. Just letting us all know it's a Ford. It's got some sensors in the front, headlights, fog lights, wipers, all the good stuff. And then, as you can see, my wife's trying to move stuff with her hands. I don't know what she's trying to say, but. See, there we go. Let's try this. There. Okay. Let's move on. All right. Great feature about this truck is way up on top we have an antenna that can use a, a SIM card so you have Wi-Fi access. Um, there's an air, air conditioning up on top and all that good stuff. We have this frameless awning that has working LED lights. Um, but they're not on right now, but they do work. And look at them. My wife's modeling for the truck again. Using her hands, showing everything. Showing the, the glass, the acrylic handle. The frameless windows. Um, the, Thor, the Thor label letting us know we have a Thor motor coach. Letting us know it's a Gemini all-wheel drive and letting us know that it's a 24 KB. All right, so we have electrical outlets. Yep, we have some storage. If you want a barbecue with a group of people and they have a barbecue grill that they don't want to set up, if they have a hose or whatever, you have access. So you can have a standalone barbecue grill with a hose connected. You've got propane. Uh, refrigerator, exhaust, aluminum wheels all the way around the vehicle. This might be hot. Oh, all right. Okay. So we have this huge monster storage area. It goes all the way to the back of the, all the way through to the other side of the camper. Obviously, you can see we have some wood in there because we're going to make the fire later. Again, frameless windows all the way around the camper. Back up a little bit. We can see a backup camera, which is our rear view mirror, right up there. LED marker lights. LED tail lights, LED backup lights. We have a trailer hitch. Seven way socket, four way socket, or whatever connector you have for a boat, car, whatever you're going to tow behind the curtain, the camper. We have some additional storage, or additional drawer, door to get to the same storage area. More frameless windows, another 
access door to that same storage area. Propane tank. It can be filled at any any place that fills propane or any RV place that hit where you get this filled. Now as a gauge tells you whether you're full or empty. Turn it on and off here. This is where it gets hooked up for filling. If you feel so inclined to take a shower, alright, alright, so if you feel so inclined to take a shower, clean your feet, clean your shoes, whatever you want to clean off. This camper comes with an external shower or an outside shower. With hot and cold water, clean everything off. Now, if you're the kind of person who would rather sit inside the camper instead of enjoying these great outdoors and you want to watch TV, one, you can get internet. I showed you the antenna up, up on top of the roof where you can access Amazon or whatever. But if you're in an area where you, where you have access to cable TV, guess what? You have cable TV. This camper also comes with a 30 amp, 125 volt shore power electrical connection. And obviously they're going to call you here not to exceed that. If you have access to city water at your campsite, you've got a city water connection. You can then, when you're dumping your black and gray tank and you want to clean it out, you run water through here, and that cleans out your black and rinses out your black and gray tanks. This is the compartment for access for your instant hot water. So, you don't have a hot water tank, you have an instant tank that's hot water in this year. And obviously, you don't touch that when it's running because it's going to be hot. We have our slide with our frameless windows, as you've seen around the entire camper. And this camper came with a uh, slide cover to keep all the rain, leaves, and whatever else out of that area that's going to be tracked back into the camper. Down below, is our gray and black water tank access that we use to drain them to drain those uh, tanks i'm not going to open it but you know what's there and then obviously you can hear the generator and that sits underneath right below right behind the rear axle and then if we move to the front of the vehicle again the driver's compartment tells us we're driving in a Transit 350 HD all-wheel drive with an awesome Ford EcoBoost that twin turbo V6. So I think maybe we'll get in um, and show you guys the driver's and passenger's compartments and see what those look like. So let's go into the camper. Okay, okay so basically now we are in the driver's and passenger side of the, the actual cab of the camper van. As you can see it is your basic run-of-the-mill Transit 350 or a Transit van actually. Um, cab. Really nice thick sturdy heavy-duty steering wheel airbags got all kinds of controls that you can control everything from here. Um, obviously lights mirror controls all that good stuff. 10-speed automatic transmission. Um, and then on top of that, you've got, um, oh, what? We're not fishing. Oh. You're recording. <laughs> He's looking for people fishing. Oh, okay. All right. So this is our, um, another command center for the, um, for the Ford vehicle. Haven't really gone through this all that much, um, but we can go to our home screen. So this will take us home. We have a map, tells us we're in McConnellsville. 
the phone. If we have, um, since I have Android Auto on, it'll go into Pandora and you can play videos or songs, but we're not on um, the internet right now, so we won't be able to access that. We have all of our apps. Okay, so where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Okay, anyway, so this is our home, uh, our apps. Um, obviously, we don't have Apple iPhone, but um, we have Android Auto. This will go to a map. So I have Waze programmed into my phone, so this is what this goes to. Um, hit the microphone. You can obviously do your whole Google thing. We got temperature controls here. Um, go back to our home screen. You can change settings on uh, however you want to display your um, uh, everything here. And then features, drive mode, normal, eco. So if you're driving and you want to go into eco mode, you can go into eco mode, which will obviously um, give you better gas mileage. If you're towing something, maybe if it's rainy out. And then if we're off-roading, going through some mud, um, it'll give us better traction. So I think we'll probably end up staying in eco mode while we're driving. Um, when, we, when that happens, when we come to a complete stop, the engine completely shuts down. And we're, when we're ready to get back going again, it starts back up. So that's that on this control center. Obviously you have cruise control, lane, lane um, recognition and all that good stuff. And then your high beams, low beams over here. Um, and that's about, I think that's about it. Oh, one cool thing. So I remember I told, I showed you guys the, um, the backup camera in the back, which I also said doubles as a rear view mirror. So you don't have a rear view mirror here because obviously you can't see in the back because well, there's no window. If there was, you probably wouldn't be able to see through here, through it anyways. Everything would be all small and you would probably be able to see. So they use a backup camera and they use that to double as a rear view mirror, which is great because you can see everything behind. Dome lights. Um, but you know, your passenger airbag's on. So we have this we have this um, sunroof over here in the front. So we can, if you guys look here real quick. So we're gonna extend we're gonna extend it out. That gives that gives us some shade. And then retract it. We've got light. Where you go? Ah! Light. Okay. Um, like I told you, this uh, truck comes with uh, with its own generator. It runs off the gasoline on this truck, and it will it will run continuously until it hit until the gas gauge on this van hits a quarter of a tank. Once it hits a quarter of a tank, the generator shuts off and it won't run again. So that way, we don't run out of fuel. Okay. Okay. So the main, this is the power commander for the control module for the entire camper from the cab back to the end of the truck. It controls all the lights. You can control all the lights from down here. You can extend and retract your awning and your slide from here. If you need to see how much water, you have a water pump so you can run water. You have instant hot water and then you have a indicator telling you about um, the levels of your tanks, whether they're empty or full. Fresh water, gray water, and black water. You have another control unit for your awning and your slide. Up here, push buttons, or touch screen, and then you have your push buttons down here. You can control your temperature, you have air conditioning, your heater, fan speed, and then how hot or cold you want uh, your camper to be. We can control all the lights from here. So if we turn all of our lights on, all of our lights are on as you can see. 
we can control how bright they are or how dim we want them okay and we're going to turn them off and then you have the same thing here you can turn all your lights on and off here but you can't control the brightness and then you have your power so we're running on the generator right now it's running so we can start our generator we can just shut it off and then it tells us how the charge of our batteries on, on the coach the truck and then the chassis and then we have propane for our heat to run the refrigerator and then to run our stove and um, right now that's telling us it's full and then obviously you have fans your fans on and off for the kitchen or the bathroom and that's it that's all there is to right so we have we have a sink and we have some water let's see if it wants okay I guess the water's not running right now okay but if there's water in the tank it'll work we have a stove and all we have to do is propane's on will give us give our we got some good ventilation here then we're gonna light it There we go. So now our burners are lit. We have high, high heat. And well, I guess we have to relight that. Okay. And then we have low heat, which is barely anything. We have storage up here. More storage. Overhead lighting, more storage, drawers for utensils, drawers for some other stuff, another drawer. We have another drawer for storage, a big drawer for storage. We have a convection microwave that we can double as an oven. And uh, probably we have more storage up here. And we have a refrigerator that can run on both battery power, shore power, off the generator, and then um, off of uh, patrol, off of the uh, propane. So I'm gonna have my wife come over here with the camera. That way you can all see the refrigerator. And yes, it is actually pretty cold right now. And. We also have a freezer. Hopefully our, yep, we're frozen. So that means our ice cream didn't melt. Okay, so we've already gone over the refrigerator. We got, we got closet storage here, the big closet. So you can store shirts, pants, coats, whatever you want in here. Um, and this compartment is where the lights for the table are. More drawers. For more storage, some more drawers for storage, our heater, actually this is our heater here, um, come on, come on, come on, okay, so this is the sleeping area, the bedroom, storage up on top we have overhead lights outlets on both sides uh, privacy blinds they come up and they close windows so this is how you, so those windows we were showing you from the outside we'll show you how to open the windows on the inside so all you do is twist them and that's about as far as they go so you got enough uh, you get enough air through here, enough circulation, and you're not going to get wet in any kind of rain. So it's really nice. The rain last night, we had everything up and we didn't get wet at all. Um, 
TV. And then we can control all the stuff, all the lights. We didn't want to do it all manually, hitting each individual button. We can control all the lights from here. So if we want our living room lights on and off, bedroom lights, um, we can start our generator, stop it. Turned off all the lights here. And then obviously those lights all work manually. And then if you want this overhead light that's inside these cabinets, we can turn them on or off and we can turn them on. Uh, there's a remote control, small remote control, but it's up there for this TV. So we have a TV here, we have a TV up front. Uh, we have some more storage down here. Probably some more USB ports down there. And then underneath this bed, uh, there's more storage. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to give my wife some time to um, get some stuff organized and we're going to show you the bathroom. All right, okay, so now we're going to do the bathroom. And as you can see, this is a pretty big bathroom. Um, you got a mirror here, you got some your medicine cabinet, a curtain, you got a, a shower, I don't know how well this would be because I, I think it would be pretty cramped for someone that's any bigger than me. Um, obviously you got hot cold water, you've got a sunroof kind of thing here, exhaust fan, so if you do your business, you can exhaust it all out. It's a cassette toilet that will flush with, um, is that over here? Right here, there's a little foot pedal uh -huh. that will flush. Okay. And normally it would fill back up, but this goes to your black tank. And there's, um, obviously there's special toilet paper you have to use for these toilets. Um, there's other chemicals you can put in there. I don't know if it breaks up business or what have you but I guess it takes away the, the smell and all that good stuff um, your water heater you can turn your water heater temperature on or off and however hot you want the water more storage up here obviously that's enough toilet paper we're going to use for this and then you have a sink and then some more storage down here and if you really want a lot of privacy this door opens up and now you've got a monster bathroom with a lot of privacy so if you're cleaning yourself up you're brushing your teeth you want to brush your hair and you want a bigger mirror you can come over here and get a good look at yourself and then like i said before we have a closet that you can store all of, you can put your clothes, you can hang whatever you want in there. And then on, and then we have two table, two legs for the tables, which we're gonna go over right now. So this will probably be the end of the part, last part of the video is we are going to show you the table legs and how the table gets all set up. Actually, this will be my first time doing it, so. And then there's magnets up here that latch on. All right, so um, you know what we forgot to show you guys? We forgot to show you that this couch doubles in as a bed. So if you have more than one guest or two, whatever, um, this can double up as a bed. So what you do is you lift this up. There's our bed. So this doubles up, this is a bed right here. Um, these pedestals here, these are for a table. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out right here. Okay, this is our table.
Okay. So we're going to set that there for right now. These pedestals, these come off. We'll put these up here. This comes out here. Same thing with this one. So that's nice and sturdy. So here's our table we can eat, or if you need a table to put some stuff while you're cooking, some of your ingredients, you, you have a table to do that too. So I just want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I hope uh, maybe this review this kind of gets you guys interested in going camping and um, doing things like that because it's a really fun activity to do and don't forget to obviously look at this beauty right here if anything I would just subscribe like and share you know, just to see that smiling face right there so in all seriousness, um, I want to thank all of you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And don't forget, you have some like and share and subscribe buttons down below. And don't forget to hit those. Hit that little arrow thing for sharing. Share it with your friends. And um, don't forget. Share, like, like and subscribe. subscribe. And we will see you on the next video. Yes. Have a great day. Bye.